It's time for a Green New Deal now. The two central problems of our time are climate change and stagnant wages with widening inequality. A Green New Deal would tackle both. For decades, scientists have warned of the catastrophic consequences of carbon pollution and climate change. But the window is closing for action. Experts now predict that within 10 years, climate change will be irreversible, devastating the economy and threatening the health and safety of millions of Americans and countless people around the world. Meanwhile, the wages and economic prospects of Americans have stagnated for decades. The typical American worker now earns around $44,500 a year, which isn't much more than what the typical worker earned 40 years ago, adjusted for inflation. A Green New Deal would provide massive investments in the clean energy infrastructure necessary to cut carbon pollution, creating good-paying jobs and revitalizing the economy. The basis of the proposal would be a carbon tax on polluters, creating incentives for companies to cut their use of fossil fuels and switch to clean energy. The revenue would then be invested in programs like job training and education, new construction, energy efficiency, and reforestation. Now critics will claim that America can't afford a Green New Deal. Baloney. Clean energy is already cheaper than coal in many parts of the country, and wind and solar are on pace to be cheaper than natural gas by 2020. Clean energy also creates more jobs than fossil fuels, and more Americans already work in solar than in coal, gas, and oil extraction combined. In fact, America can't afford not to invest in clean energy. According to a recent report by a group of federal agencies, if we fail to act, climate change will shrink the American economy by 10% by the end of the century. In the depths of the Great Depression, Franklin D. Roosevelt had the courage to bring America back from the economic devastation by investing in the American people. It's time to renew that spirit to meet the challenges of the 21st century.